this lecture is on confidence interval the talk outline is first we will go into confidence intervals then into a t distribution then we'll understand the central limit theorem the z statistic and the t statistic the confidence interval using the z statistics and the confidence interval at 95%, 90% and a 99% using a case study. So let's jump in. Confidence interval. It is an interval with some confidence or probability attached to it. An interval for some unknown characteristic of the population data. A 95% confidence interval for the vote share of a con candidate 56%, 63% means that there is a 95% probability that the candidate will have between 56% and 63% of the votes. What is a t-distribution? A t-distribution is like a standard normal z-distribution or a z-distribution except that it has slightly fatter tails for small samples n less than 100. The bigger the sample size and closer t becomes to z. If n is greater than 100, it approaches z. It is a symmetric distribution centered around zero. It has a single parameter called the degrees of freedom. The degrees of freedom is linked to the size of the data being used larger set of data would have greater degrees of freedom. As degrees of freedom increase, the t distribution becomes closer and closer to the standard normal distribution. The central limit theorem. Consider a random sample of n observations from a population with mean mu and standard deviation. So this is a population distribution, it has some distribution. It is neither a normal distribution nor a binomial distribution, whatever this distribution is. What we do is that we are taking random samples of it. So each sample will have a mean, right? X bar. So let x bar be the sample mean. So x bar is the sample mean. What happens is that, this is very important, the distribution of x bar is approximately normal with mean mu and standard deviation sigma by root n, where n is the number of samples. So this is very interesting. The population distribution can be anything. It can be a normal distribution, it can be an exponential distribution, a viable distribution, any distribution. And then what we are doing is that we are taking sample sizes of size n and we are taking it repeatedly. And then what we are getting is that the distribution of the sample mean is normal. So this is very important. What is a Z statistic? All normal distributions can be converted into a standard normal distribution by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation. So this is what Z is equal to X minus mu by sigma by root n. So this is what is going to happen. Here, sigma is a population mean which might not be available in all practical cases, which is the case. The sample standard deviation S is available in all cases. Therefore, if we replace the sigma with S in the above formula, we would get a T distribution with N minus 1 degrees of freedom. So it is X minus mu by S by root of N. So when the population, when the population uh, standard deviation is not available, then we would get the, uh, this should be the population standard deviation, actually not the population mean.
So this is one thing that we should correct. So this is population standard deviation. So this is what is the concept behind it. So let's uh, jump in and now do the confidence interval. What is the confidence interval using the Z statistic? The probability outside the confidence interval is referred to as alpha. So this is the one that is which is outside the confidence interval. We wish to construct a 1 minus alpha confidence interval for the population mean. So this is a 1 minus alpha confidence interval. The 1 minus alpha confidence interval for the population mean is provided by x bar minus z alpha by 2 sigma by root n less than the population mean or the sample mean less than x bar plus z alpha by 2 and sigma by root n. So if you are considering a 95% confidence interval, so what would happen is that 1 minus alpha is 95%, alpha is equal to 5%, therefore alpha by 2 is 2.5%. So let's jump in and let's do a case study so that we can understand it better. A mining company needs to estimate the average amount of copper ore per ton mined. A random sample of 50 tons gives a sample mean of 146.75 pounds. The population standard deviation is assumed to be 35.2 pounds. What is the 95%, 90% and the 99% confidence interval for the average amount of copper in the population of dance mined? So here what we are getting is n is equal to 50. The sample mean is 146.75 and sigma is 35.2. So here 1 minus alpha confidence interval is 95% alpha is equal to 5% alpha by 2 is equal to 2.5% or 0 0.025. The Z value corresponding to 0 0.025 is minus 1.9596 which can be obtained in Excel with the formula norm dot inv probability comma mean comma standard deviation. So that is norm dot inv 0 0.025 comma 0 comma 1. So that is minus 1.9596. So that is equivalent to minus 1.96. The 95% confidence interval is between 146.75 minus 1.9596 star 35.2 pi square root of 50. So that gives it around 136.99. Similarly, the other one is 156.50. So the 95% confidence interval is between 136.99 and 156.50. The 90% confidence interval is given by, we apply the same concept and the Z value corresponding is 0 0.05 so that is equal to minus 1.6448536627 so the 90% confidence interval is between 138 and 154 it is by the same concept that we are having what we are using if we have forgotten is this formula out here so the 1 minus alpha confidence interval for the population mean is provided by this formula and we are using this formula again and again. Similarly for the 90% so we have crossed this for the 99% confidence interval so here the alpha is 0 0.005 and the norm dot inv is minus 2.57 so we get a 99% confidence interval is between 133 0.92 and 
So this is how we can easily calculate the confidence interval. The Z value, Z alpha by 2 is calculated by the function we are using Excel to calculate this. We can use any programming language like R or Python to also calculate it. But for the sake of convenience, we have used Excel. So this completes our first lecture on confidence interval. Thank you. Bye.